And now we're going to put a little buttermilk on it. Woo, that stuff's good. I'm telling you. Ain't nothing better than fried squash and okra. Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Color Valley Cooks. Today, me and Chris are having company for supper. We're excited. We get to cook for somebody for a change. So anyway, I Okay, so here's our squash. Y'all know me, I got my trash can handy. I'm gonna take the tops off and the bottom. And I'm just gonna chop this up um, like I will to fry it. I'm gonna slice it in half. Hope y'all are having a great day. I think we'll use the wok and fry it in bigger pieces today. Either that or that big um, skillet that Amy got me that's a uh, I've still got it, the copper one, non-stick. It's got a really big surface area for a lot of squash. So we're having green beans and squash and potatoes. And I made chocolate delight. So I like to just cut up my squash. And then I soak it in a little buttermilk. I go ahead and throw, put a little salt and pepper on it, why not? And we soak it in buttermilk. And you want it to come to room temperature before you start frying it, and it'll fry up better, okay? So I'm a little early. I'm just prepping right now with y'all um, on here. So we're not gonna fry it right now because my company's not gonna be here till six o'clock. I may or may not hop back on here and fry it in front of y'all. Um, I probably will. Let I'll go let my phone charge a little while while it's prepping I mean you know while it's soaking you know okay I'm just gonna get the edges of, off of this one Simple ingredient, delicious cooking, right? You're going to use self-rising flour, white lily, self-rising, so winter white wheat. If you can't get it, get King Arthur. They just taste good when they're toasty. They're just good. They taste better when they're cook, cooked, believe it or not. You don't believe me, do a blind taste test, and you'll be shocked. That's what I did. That way I couldn't be partial. All right, salt and pepper's on, and we got our whole buttermilk. You don't want fat-free buttermilk to put on vegetables or chicken or anything. Um, and now we're going to put a little buttermilk on it. We're going to toss it. Now, this is really cold, but by the time we cook it, it's going to be more like room temperature. We are going to fry some squash, but we got company coming. Um, I've got green beans going back on the back eye. I've got cream potatoes. I've got cream potatoes. Um, and then I've got this. This is getting really, really hot. It's nice and warm. So we're gonna fry up some squirsh. Let me get a big thing of oil. Chris. Y'all let me know if we are on Calder Valley Cooks. Please. How many views you got? 67. You're on Calder Valley Cooks. Okay. You are on it, boy. All right. So I put some oil in there. Now I'm gonna put some uh, flour on my 
got squash. I will pour the buttermilk off of it. We've had it soaking in buttermilk for an hour and a half. So I'm going to pour the buttermilk off of it and then bread it. It's amazing how much water is in those things. Salt, pepper, self-rising flour. That's all it is. I may have to do it in two batches. Because. Now, when you put it in here, um, make sure your oil is hot. Or it's going to be greasy and make a mess. And make sure it gets good and brown before you flip it the first time. There's one batch. So I'm going to start it. I'm going to let this water get hot. And while it's cooking, salt and pepper it some more. All right, let's look at our green beans, see if they're doing what they're supposed to. They're dry. That's how you want them to be. And I'm going to let them sizzle a little bit before I finish them up. All right, this is my oil. I'm going to flip the ones that's not down in the grease, down in there at least, so they get done. But you don't want to flip them till they're nice and brown. Just like that. Just like that, I'm going to turn it up. Some of it is getting a little bit brown. It always gets brown around the edge first because it's cast iron. Well, that's where the fire is. Where the fire is. Well, let's do it. Y'all get to see one batch fried before our company gets here. Well, we'll leave it, Tammy. We fried up some squash for them uh, chefs in Los Angeles. Just like this, we just cut it bigger. Same thing. We, same thing. We put it in buttermilk, salt, and pepper, and white lily self-rising flour. They loved it. And I've got some uh, paper uh, bags. I'm gonna use these to put the squash on. Cause I'm out of paper towels. Chris said, you want to use newspaper? I said, heck no. That squash is perfect. Absolutely perfect. We're going to get it up. No, I don't cook big every day. I used to. It still would be better for us than eating out. We eat out too much. That's why we're fat. We're not fat because I'm because of what I cook. We're fat because we eat out a lot.
All right, y'all, that's hot as a firecracker. He needs to get his butt back in here. Here we go. I'm going to drop the rest of it. Probably going to get burnt. I think this is a bigger batch. Yeah. Ain't nothing better than fried squash and okra. Woo! Soak it in a little bit of buttermilk. Salt and pepper, that stuff is heavenly. I'm not kidding. Now, I know I'm probably not doing the best job videoing considering I'm flipping and videoing. Oh no, Chris is getting soaking wet. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching Color Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did.